damn, why would I do that in October? That's, uh, I kept asking myself that on the bench. You know, there were a lot of good things. No, there were some good things. And there were some, you know, things that really bothered me. Um, give them a lot of credit. They came in here and shot the daylights out of it early. And um, I didn't think we guarded very well, but I thought they made some shots, too, that we didn't expect. Um, the turnovers were a joke. I mean, theirs were worse. Rick's not real happy either. But our turnovers led to some touchdowns uh, that they got early, and then that was a depressing moment when you, you know, you get down, was it 17 to 1 or something? 18. 18 to 1? Not that you're counting. 18 to 1, that's, uh, that's, you know, I guess my team deserves some credit for coming back from that. I, I thought, you know, as well as Tyson played, Malik Hall did the things, you know, he missed two layups, and he did the things, though, that I needed to be done from him. Gets a double-double, gets 14 and 11, gets to the free throw line. Um, I thought he played pretty well. Uh, and Tyson, you know, it's like we have to do a better job of getting him involved earlier. Um, because we had some guys that, that just didn't over dribble to over handle it early and ball movement wasn't as good and that's because they're really good defensively and they're big. They're big. I mean those guards were six five, six six. Uh they had some big guards and uh and that hurt us a little bit. Um freshmen, you know, I think Jeremy's gonna, you know, be fine, but he when you take it in there on those big guys it's hard to get it up. I thought Trey Holloman played really well early, got us back in the game a little bit. Cohen played pretty well, and and Xavier, you know, did okay. We didn't get him as much time for a couple of reasons, but uh, if there was a disappointment. It was our wings, our guards got to get more rebounds. Jaden didn't have a rebound, and our bigs had been playing really well in practice in there and didn't play very well. So with that said, you lose by one, and uh, game that I think was a hell of a game for the people and and uh, most important and that's why we did it I hope it does bring light on the people from Maui and there's so many things when, when when something happens there then all of a sudden something happens you know in Russia and then something happens in Israel and and uh, it seems like you know it gets by the wayside a little bit and uh, Maui I've been there next year will be my fifth time I think Rick this year is going to be his fourth time. So it meant a lot to both of us because when you go there, you get treated so well. And uh, I thought our, our people here did a, a great job. It was a phenomenal crowd. Um, you know, it's not easy during football to have a crowd like that. And uh, so I, I give a lot to our fans, our students, our marketing, our tickets. To everybody, um, they did a great job. So, questions, I'll take them. Um, I know that um, we, we kind of saw the, the the full court defense a little bit we're more in Hillsdale, and you saw it a lot here tonight. I guess for an opponent like this, I know they were without their top two guards, but how much does that help integrate something like that into your program? It's a little bit different. Well, I was pleased with that, you know. What I didn't get to do is rotate guys enough, you know. Um, I probably, sh if I had to do it over again, I'd get Trey and Jeremy a few more minutes in there, um, a little cleaner rotation. But they played 11, 12 minutes. That's more than a lot of freshmen do. And um, even Book played eight or nine minutes. So um, just getting that rotation down will be very important. But there was a reason they turned it over, too. Our defense was pretty good in that, in that, uh, in the full court. In the half court, we weren't very good, and that's what we got to continue to work on. Tom, can you reflect on kind of a win-win-win deal? Both teams get to uh, experience a March-like game in October and raising funds and awareness. Yeah, that's I think the best part of the game, you know, and that's what Rick and I talked about before the game, during the game, a few times, and after the game. Um, it was. Uh, it was cool. I mean, we both, you know, we went Hawaiian. We had our Maui shirts on. Um, it was just a, it was the right thing to do, and it was the right opportunity the NCAA gave us to do something like that. 
and I don't know how much money that'll end up raising, but a lot more than it would have if that was an empty place. And then as far as uh, for us, the, uh, the crowd was phenomenal. Um, I think it really helped us get back in the game. They should feel good about that. And uh, Tennessee should feel good that they were able to handle a crowd like that and kept making plays. Uh, every time we cut it to six or four, they made a play. And uh, I told Rick that was my most impressive thing with them. Uh, those two guys, the new guys he got, really played well, Ganey and, and Connect. And uh, they really, really, really played well, and that was the difference in the game. Tom, since you first sat with us at the beginning of the season, I've been calling this your master class on leadership, and one of the elements you emphasize is communication. One, can you evaluate the communication, and why is communication so difficult um, at this time? I think you evaluated it yourself. You know, we had some slip-ups where we had switches and guys were wide open in the basket. And some of it's playing different lineups. Some of them is the way they ran things. And some of it was just mistakes. I mean, uh, they knew it right away when they did it. They knew it. Um, we need more practice on that. That's why this game was so important. I mean, when you think about was it a good thing or a bad thing, it was such a good thing to play this game. You know, you never feel good when you don't win. But it was good in, in a lot of re reasons and ways, not only for us and for Rick, but of course for Maui and even for our fans. I think it was awesome for our fans. You get to see a, a top five, ten team come in here, and uh, that team is picked to win the SEC, and I can, you can all see why. I mean, they're going to be good, and they've got, they've got depth too. But their young guys struggled too, just like you know maybe a couple of ours did. But uh, yeah, I, I think all in all, the communication, why is it hard? Because the damn NCAA and Nike won't let us put these on their belt buckles. You know, guys don't know how to talk. They got they, they to text. They got to send an email. Those don't work with uniforms. So we're trying to constantly, um, you know, get our guys to communicate more. And we've done a little better job, but today there were some times that's where Marty and Coop usually are good at calling out those screens, and we just didn't do it. But you know, now we got a week to get better. Other, other than the microphones and the wild shirts, did that feel like an exhibition game, or did that feel like March a little bit? Oh, that felt like March. Are you kidding me? I, I asked Rick, are we stupid or what? You know, we don't need this in in October. And a couple of people sitting next to me, I said, damn, I got five more months of this. But that's a good thing, you know? It really, really is. It's a good thing. And it was really good for our players. And in some ways, you know, my philosophy around here, it's good to get punched in the mouth because I thought we did early. I thought we got punched right in the mouth. And I did think we'd come back. I mean, Tyson getting that rebound late, the smallest guy on the floor, I think tells you a little bit about him. We just got to get more out of a couple of guys that I think have it to give. And those freshmen, Jeremy and, and Trey Holloman and, Cohen, we'll get Booker going here. Um, they're going to get better. So I, I, I still like everything about my team. I was a little disappointed that a couple guys defensively didn't play as good as I thought they would. I know they hit a lot of shots, but was it okay to get your butts kicked in the first 10 minutes or for some of your Oh, yeah. I, I, you know what, Fred? I was sitting there, and I, I, I looked up, and it was 17 to 1, and I yeah. said, God, this is fun. Hell no, it wasn't okay. Well, to get I mean, my for butt some of kicked. your young players to Jeez. realize what that level is like. Um, I'm kidding you. I can, I can have fun today because we did something for Maui. I played against a good friend of mine, and uh, I do think that's a good point. You know, I, we had a couple of recruits in the thing, and I said, uh, You skinny guys better get a lot tougher because there's no question that. Um, that would be one of the more physical athletic teams. There's physical teams, and then there's athletic teams. And when you get physicality and athleticism and some size, uh, that's what makes them a pretty good team. Now, they had some problems, too, getting the ball up the floor, and they're going to have some decisions to make on those big guys. The bigger guards can do – they can defend better, but they can't uh, – 
they can't run the ball like those smaller guards. The smaller guards don't shoot it as well. I mean, the guys that he's out, and he's got one guard that's really good. But uh, they ain't going to play better than those two guys played. I mean, he told me after that was the best and hardest connect he had played. So connect. So that means that's good for them too, you know. So I, I just thought all in all, it was a great game. It's sad to end it that way. Was it a foul or not a foul? Um, he asked me a good question. He said, well, if it was the other way, would you want it called? I said, hell no. I'd like to win the game on the floor, not on the free throw line. Now, if it was during the regular season, hell yes. But, uh, you know, it was a bang, bang. I mean, it, it could have gone either way. I mean, as, as they all said to me, officials are, that was as high a caliber game as they'll do probably in the next two months. And that was one of the higher caliber games we'll play in. I don't care if it's Duke or anybody else. I mean, the advantage of playing in a game like this as an exhibition game is you don't care about fouls as much and things like that. That was a tough game to play in. And it was a tough game to officiate. And uh, and I learned a little lesson there too. I had a couple guys that started chirping at the officials. That'll be ended t tonight. Because that's one thing that's not going to be tolerated. I, hell, I, it's the only fun I have is get to yell at him. If I got a player yelling at him, then he takes away my fun. Coach, uh, it goes without saying that Tyson Walker had a great game on the offensive side of the floor, but he also had five steals today. How encouraged are you about his defensive growth? You know, I mean, I, I think nobody would argue that he's the best player on the floor, you know, for us. Um, because he can do it always. And we probably played him too many minutes, you know, um, to be honest with you. But uh, hope to get that down a little bit. But as you can tell, he's probably the best conditioned guy on my team. Uh, I, lo I love the way he played. I love the way he was. One time he got a little lolly with the official and that in the huddles. He was phenomenal. Um, he's grown a lot. and. Uh, He's a good player, and we have to get him more involved early. That wasn't him. That's us. So some of that falls on the coaches, too. Coach, you just alluded to it a little bit a second ago. Some of the run-ins that your players had with the refs today showed the intensity of the game and the emotional connection they had to it. But I also saw you doing a lot of correcting with the players on the sideline. How does a game like this, albeit an exhibition, prep you guys emotionally for the season? Well, it gave us a chance to run something at the end that we didn't execute quite right. It gave us a chance. Um, you know, one time we looked at a two for one early. I mean, it, it really, I'm sure for Rick too, I mean, it really was a game that I can't believe it was 89-88 with 37 turnovers. I mean, that's hard to do. So maybe there's a positive in there. And after we were down 17, when, when did we have one? How many minutes were left in the half? You are down one with four minutes. No, 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 no. When you got the first one point. Yeah. Uh, Is that the first five minutes, six minutes? Five minutes so in nine nothing out of the gate. Yeah, and then 17 and one or something. So, so we probably went uh, and scored 87 points in 30 four or five minutes. That's pretty good on a, on a positive end against a team that's good defensively. And they probably felt the same thing because I think he thinks we're pretty good defensively. So our defenses didn't show up. We turned the ball over too much, both of us. He, uh, he shot the ball better. Uh, he had a couple guys that really shot it well, six for 10 and eight for 16. Um, that's two pretty good nights, but uh, even though Malik was three for nine, I, you know, I'd have to give Tyson the, the star of the game, but I, I'd put Malik right there because he did everything I need him to do for us to be successful. Tom, I know you told us the other day that there's certain benefits to doing it privately and how you can tinker and, and adjust things, but having gone through this now, um, I'm just wondering if you think the benefits of something like this outweighs that, and would you like to see these type of things continue? Should they, could they move forward and be more of a regular thing? Yeah, I really, I really enjoyed it, especially, you know, I, I did it a couple times with Gonzaga, you know, when you have friends that you have that you can play against and now tomorrow or even tonight, Rick and I will talk about 
how much we each he's mad at his team and I'm mad at mine and but you get a lot done you get a lot to talk about and um, and when you can attach it to a a fundraising deal it's pretty cool and when I say fundraising I mean a charity uh, that's pretty neat you know uh, whether it be that or I could see whether it be for the Boys and Girls Club or something to help people, you know, or we're near Thanksgiving, you know, feed feed people, the homeless. Uh, you know, could we do something with this to help? Now, um, you know, you look at it, and the university is going to lose money, but if we did it for nothing, the university wouldn't have gotten it anyway if, if, if we played it and there was no crowds. So I, I want to thank all the people that came and, and spent their money on this. I think you got your money's worth as far as a game. Um, I think the wrong team won if you're a Spartan fan, but um, it was uh, it was a hell of a game. And I kept saying on the bench, I said, man, this is a high intensity game. And that was early, you know? So we got a lot of work to do, but this will give us something to check our warts and figure out uh, we're gonna get those wings rebounding a little better. Uh, we're going to take care of the ball better, and uh, we'll get better. In terms of the teaching value, though, to have the environment, like if you were to go down there, with their, you know, versus Oh, yeah, I'd go down there. Oh, I'd go down there, too. I mean, I, I prefer playing in – that's why we play one of the games in front of people. If you do the Division two, you can play it in front of them. Um, and I do that so our freshmen, our new people can – you get out in front of a crowd for the first time because we had a decent crowd the other night, but this was a great crowd. And I think you saw some guys with the old deer in the headlights look, you know? So, yeah, I think it's a good deal. I think it's a good thing, and I think it's really a good thing for Maui. Anything else? Yeah, Tom, you referenced Tennessee as a top five team earlier this week. What did they do tonight that, that validated that? And I guess specifically with the, the two new transfers, what did you think of them tonight? Well, you know, Rick and I have been friends since he was at Texas, and we've always had tight games. It doesn't seem like started, I think, the first one in Madison Square Garden was a one-point game at the end. We played in the NCAA tournaments. And uh, I know the way he coaches. I know what he does. But I think he's got more depth than he's normally had when he gets those guards back. I think he's, you know, he's got um, – He's got interchangeable parts, you know. He can he can bring those bigs in, and uh, you know, Awaka is a man. I mean, he's just a man child, and uh, he gives him a different look than the other kid than I do. And uh, then he brings in those two young guys that he's got that I think have size. If you run into a team with big size, but all those wing guys are six five and athletic and long, and and uh, I don't know how well they shoot it. But, uh, you know, Dillion, you know, he hit a three. Uh, Josiah, you know, I recruited Josiah's dad, played here. He probably just hit a three just to stick it to me. But I was really happy for him. Um, great kid. Uh, Maschek, he hit a three. You know, they were very efficient, too. They didn't take bad ones. They were one for one, one for two, one for one, one for one. And the two best shooters go four for seven, three for nine. Um, that's good. I mean, that's that's good. So they're well coached. They got depth. They got experience. Even their transfers are juniors, are seniors in one case, grad student. Um, I mean, I think since he's a good friend of mine, let's put pressure on him. That's a Final Four team. I really believe that. I really do, and I, I think he feels good about that too. And uh, you know, you got to be good, you got to be lucky, you got to be all those things. But Tennessee's a team that's going to beat a lot of people, and they they got a team that has a legitimate shot because they have enough depth and they have enough different. Like they put uh, they put uh, James Josiah, they put him at the threesome and went real big, so they can go real big or they can go small and put him at the four and uh i think when you can do that that's always healthy in the tournament when you run up to different styles and different kinds of teams and this will help him because he played a big 10 team now and we played an sec team and it's going to help us help him and everybody wins referees won i mean uh that was a high intensity game for them 
And I told him and towards the end, that's a hard game to officiate too. I mean, it was physical as hell. And um, so hopefully our fans won. Hopefully it was everybody won except I got to look at it. I didn't win on the scoreboard. But uh, what I got out of that game was was way better than any other game I could play or a game that I won by 20. Because um, our kids learned that they took it to us and, and yet we bounced back. I mean, you're down that big to a team that good and you come back and you have a chance to win it at the end. That's pretty good. Anything else? Thanks. Enjoy the day.